Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to part nine for our Ninja Platformer tutorial series. This series was made possible by the students who support me by purchasing my Gitto courses. There will be a link in the description if you're interested in checking those out. In this video, we're going to add wall jumping, and we're also going to allow the player to shorten the jump height of their jump. And there's actually another thing we're going to fix too. Let's get started. First, come into your player character, and we're going to we're going to write some logic for detecting whether or not we're doing a wall jump. And this logic is going to be essentially checking whether the player is pu um, pushing away from the wall, which is like a detach, right? Uh, and also, if they try to press the jump button, we'll want to do a wall jump. And also, if uh, we'll, we'll want to check to see if they're holding down, because we're still going to allow them to detach without jumping um, by holding down at the same time that they press away from the wall. So our logic will look like this. If, or let's see, var wall request wall jump. This will be a Boolean. We'll set it equal to some value. I'm going to use parentheses because we're going to have a few qualifiers just like we did right down here. We're going to have a few. And so the first one is going to be um, request detach or input dot is action just is action just pressed jump okay now because we have an or here we want to group these together the logic requires us to group these together so i'm going to do parentheses around this just to make sure that these are grouped together as a single value that is determined with this or so either we're requesting a detach or we're pressing the jump button and not input dot is action pressed move down so this just makes sure that we're not pressing down because if we press down and we detach or we press down and we jump then we're not going to actually request a wall jump we'll just have a normal detach and since request detach already uses the input for pushing away from the wall, um, that's where we're getting that input from, right? So this is our two decisions here. We're either pushing away from the wall or we're pressing the jump button. And then we're checking also on top of that to make sure we're not pressing the down. Key. And that's how we determine our wall jump. This is going to be its own exit case for this state. So we're state equals state dot move here. We're gonna have another state equals state dot move in this if statement. We'll say if request wall jump. We're gonna have some logic here. So the logic is going to be uh first we're just gonna call jump. And then we're gonna say state equals state dot move. Okay, that makes sense. Let's try it. So we come up, now we should just be able to press away from the wall. And there we go, we have a wall jump. It's already working. Now let's press the jump button. Oh, that doesn't really work. The reason it doesn't work is because the jump button doesn't actually move us away from the wall. And so using the arrow keys will just move us away from the wall, but pressing the jump button doesn't. So we want to actually manipulate the x velocity of the character whenever we request whenever we wall jump so we're not just going to call jump here we're also going to set our velocity dot x and we're going to set this equal to uh the wall normal dot x wall normal dot x times our max speed okay and Again, we don't need to multiply by delta because we're directly setting velocity, which is in um, pixels per second. And our wall normal here is going to be the direction we want to go, right? The, the normal points away from the wall, and that's where we want to go, is away from the wall. So that should give us a pretty good start. 
Now when we press the jump button, our character jumps away from the wall. We move away from the wall. But we also want to set the scale of our character. So we can immediately use that same velocity to set the scale. So we'll say anchor dot scale dot x equals uh, sine velocity dot x. Now we'll flip the character away from the wall as well. Jumping away. And there we go. Now we're jumping away from the wall. Now we technically slow down in the air if we don't hold over at the same time, but it at least gives us a, a basic I really just want to allow the player to be able to use jump as a way to jump off a wall since we've taught them that that button is for jumping, even though I actually prefer using the arrow keys. I just want to have both inputs as an option for the player. That's kind of a game design decision. Okay, say we come up to the top of our thing here. We still can't make it over that, so let's fix that. What we need to do is make sure that when we're exiting uh, when we're detaching like this we need to have a check that checks to see if we're pressing the up button and if we are it will jump when we detach we'll say if input dot is action pressed we're not going to just press because we want to be able to check if it was has been pressed for a while you are move up then we'll just call jump here And this will allow us to come up these ledges. And I feel like that's a pretty good way of handling this awkwardness. Um, not having like some type of get up animation. Right? I don't have any sort of animation to get animate the character getting up this ledge. I just have them kind of launch up this up the ledge and it allows them to move quite smoothly and feels quite nicely. Okay, so another bug we're going to experience, which is you can attack, your sword can deal damage, or your sword can be animating while your feet are attached to the wall, which looks really weird. Some of you have, may have noticed this in the last episode. So we're going to address that. So why is that the case? Well, whenever Whenever our animation is syncing, right, it doesn't sync if the attack is playing. And so when we attach to the wall, the, our animation lower switches to the, 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 to the hang animation. But because we're in the attack animation, it doesn't actually sync it. So there's a couple options that we have for dealing with this problem. One of them is actually just to add another qualifier to should wall climb and say and not animation player upper dot current animation is equal to attack. So this is a potential one where we're just saying, well, you can't actually attach to a wall if you're attacking, right? And that just looks like this. If you're in, in the middle of an attack, you finish the attack before you attach to the wall. Um, personally, I didn't like this solution. That's just me, but I didn't like it. The other option is to make it so that immediately when you switch to the wall, to the climb state right here, we just set the upper animation to hang. So animation player upper dot play hang. And that will just override the attack animation. So no matter what, it's just going to switch. And that allows us to kind of like do a quick attack before attaching to a wall. Um, see that? So that's the other option. Now there is an in between these two options, which is to allow the climb, to allow climbing should wall climb 
to um, cancel the attack animation after a certain point. So like it won't it won't attach to the wall unless the animation is over. But if it's trying to attach to a wall and the animation is almost over, it will cancel it. That's kind of the in between. That might be the best solution. Um, I haven't actually tested it. If you want to try implementing that solution yourself, then uh, feel free to take that as a challenge. See if you can implement it. I'm going to leave this solution because I feel, I feel like this one is 90% there. Feels pretty good. Attaching to the wall is still snappy. And we're looking pretty good. So that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. If you did, be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in my courses, you can check out the link in the description or there might be a link in this video as well where you can go look at those. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode.